Hi, I'm Danae, and I'm obsessed with pickleball. But apparently, so is America, as the country's fastest growing sport, now having celebrities and events like Major League Pickleball hitting the scene, this sport is without a doubt making a wave. In my last poll, I found that only 25% of players actually have access to high-level coaching, which leaves the majority of us, about 70%, having to learn new skills from either YouTube or players in our local communities. So I'm on a mission to bring you some of the best high-level players, touring pros, or local legends, and having them teach you their favorite pickleball tips, skills, and drills that will help you advance to the next level. So make sure you guys hit like and subscribe so you can follow along my journey. And without further ado, let's get into it. What's up, you guys? It's Danae with All Things Pickleball, and I'm here with Joel Tickner, the absolute legend. And that. he is going to teach you something really cool today. He's from Kinzer Pickleball. What are you teaching us today? Yeah, I'm super excited. Today we're going to learn how to speed up off the bounce. And with the game speeding up, this is a great tip to add to your game just to move up. Okay guys, first things first. What kind of ball are we looking to speed up off the bounce? So let's say we're in a dinking rally, we're in a really, really tough match, and we want to change up, we want to speed it up at our opponents, catch them off guard. So we're looking for any dink that's not super aggressive, something that maybe lands a little deeper in the kitchen that bounces kind of high. Um, and we want to take this a comfortable distance from our body. So as this ball comes, I'm going to drop the tip of my paddle, look like any other dink. Let's say I dink once, I dink twice middle, and then they give me another ball. I'm going to speed that one up. So I'm going to drop the tip of my paddle, and then I'm going to just flick that at them with top spin. And that's going to take them off guard. We're going to maybe push them back a little bit, and just it's a great way to speed up the point and force an error. And the swing path for this is gonna start just like any other dink. So we're gonna have minimal paddle movement before contact. We're just gonna get where we need to be for this dink, drop the tip of our paddle. And then as we make contact, we're gonna rotate the paddle tip aggressively, create top spin, and push it out in front. And our follow through is just gonna end, really extend, we're gonna extend our arm as we hit this, out in front. And I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, you guys, I want to break this down into slow motion so you can see what he's talking about with the paddle face. So see at the starting point of this movement, that paddle tip is facing down. It's kind of at that six o'clock mark and he rotates it up to the ending position at that one o'clock mark. This is what gives it top spin. I don't know if you noticed there, but I held my paddle as absolutely long as I can. I don't want a big motion here. I want to take them off guard. And the drill I do for this all the time is grab your training partner and we're going to be straight across the net from each other and we're going to be both up at the non-volley line and it's three dinks and then fair game. So what it's going to look like is we're just going to dink back and forth and after three dinks we can speed up any ball we want and you can just work on holding the paddle, targeting certain parts on the body and anything related to that. Two, three. Oh, here we go. One. Two, three. One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> One, two, oh shoot. One, two, two. three. One, oh shoot. One, two, three. One, two, three. Woo! Woo One point for nice, Janae. Nice. One, two, three. Oh, you got me. Joel, that's such a sick shot. I'm so glad that you gave us some tips on that. Where can people follow you if they want to follow your pickleball journey? Yeah, so on Instagram, I'm just Joel Tigner PB. Um, go check it out. I try to post content pretty regularly. And yeah. Cool, so make sure you go check out Joel and make sure that you like and subscribe and come see the next Learning from the Locals. I'm Danae and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching you guys. It means a lot if you subscribe. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and check the description below for discounts.